Hi, everyone. It's great to be here. It's my first time at Slush. And I'm Eric, the co-founder of Movie Mask, your portable cinema. My mate here will pass a demo around for testing. So, but let me just start out to say that I think it's pretty amazing how far we come in virtual reality and augmented reality. And wherever we'll be in just five years' time is going to be mind-blowing. However, today they are struggling to get active users, mainly because of their, that there's little content and low resolution on that content. We in MovieMask believe we have found a solution. We've te teamed up with some of Norway's best opticians to create a whole new type of optics that lets you enlarge the full size of your smartphone, giving you the illusion of sitting in front of a huge screen in a pitch black room. By not splitting the screen like all other VR actors does, we can actually provide four times the resolution on any content. We can also give you access to that content, which we are cannot, in a much easier way. This, in turn, has led us to have a large base of active users, far more than those of our major competitors within the VR space. And I think that we, as a firm, can help to bridge how we will watch media in the future and how we do so today. When we founded the company in May 2016, we did so with a mindset that we had to test a lot and move extremely fast. And I think we did so because in the following three months, we created over 30 prototypes on which we tested on over 1,000 users. And we've kept up the pace because in just 12 months, we've launched three successful Kickstarter campaigns, crowdfunding campaigns, as well as gain access into some major strategic retail channels, among them Giganti in Finland. In sum, we have sold over 10,000 products in majority of the Nordic's market and are now ready to scale globally. But this is just the beginning, because this is where the fun starts. There are three major verticals that we've gained access to through the customers who bought our first version that says that these, these are areas where we, where we can expand. We have a prototype for AR, which we have some existing partners that already prefer based on the simplicity and the resolution provided. We're here at Slush now because we want to team up with innovative mobile gaming companies to create a whole new type of experience. And for drones, this can easily be used to navigate your drone while steering. And last week, we just signed an agreement of 1,000 units. And we're going to Tromsø this weekend to use this as a digital diving mask and explore whales. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so I got five seconds. So we're a cool team with Visionary, and we've done a lot in a short amount of time. So we're ready to go global. Thank you very much. Thank you, Eric. Um, let's move straight to the questions. How much do you charge for the product? Well, we have three products now. This one is charged 9.99 NOC or 1.19 USD. Then we have a middle version for the main mass market, which we charge at 79 bucks. And we also have a portable, more travel-friendly version that we charge for 49 bucks. Can you just replay and, and go into a bit more detail on the value proposition versus what's already out there? So I th my takeaway was that you get this 4x resolution yeah. improvement. Is that, is that like the main, like this is why people will use this? Or is there yeah. something else? There's kind of two major value propositions, depending on how you watch the user. Because you have the users that watch a lot of media content, like film enthusiasts. And we see that those, those were our beachhead markets. Those are the majority of the customers that, buy, that bought the first 10,000 units. Uh, and when we're competing with those kind of people, we're kind of competing against the urge to, see, to watch a movie on your smartphone, or your tablet, or a laptop. However, when we're in the retail stores, we're competing more against, uh, against the virtual reality actors and those with similar kind of headset that looks the same, but does a whole other thing. Because then the resolution and the ease of content plays a big, much bigger role. And fun fact, if people want it, uh, we had a survey that we sent out to our international Kickstarter backers. And we had actually 70% of the international backers that said they had been looking for something similar for a while. These are tech enthusiasts that are well into the VR market and they have been looking for something like this for a while. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> so what's your vision of what it becomes then? Where, where do you see this going? Well, that's a three-step question. I think 
Uh, in the short term, for next year, we want to define a new segment uh, in the same way that virtual reality, augmented reality has defined theirs. We want to define a new segment for dedicated video mask, where we will become a global leader. In the middle term, we want to redefine how we watch media and entertainment today, and also how we interact with those media. We now, uh, we we now have a few pilot with the, within the augmented reality field, where you use your camera, and then I can add a layer here. We could, if all of us four would have the movie mask on, we could see the presentation here, and you could give input, and we could interact with that. So we're basically aiming to redefine the entertainment, uh, the way we engage in entertainment for now. And uh, do we have more questions? No, we're good. Thank you, Eric, from <laughs> Movie Mask. Thank, Thank you, you so very much. much.